for the serious gamer. Hey guys, it's Spider by NextGenTactics.com, and uh, this is an update on our challenge series. Uh, challenge number three has been released, or the winners have been released anyway. In uh, first place, we had uh, Wicked E and two with uh, 38 kills. Impressive, very, very impressive. Second place, we've got Master WR123. And if you recall, uh, for challenge number two, this guy actually submitted a video for each, uh, each of the Spec Ops missions and ended up winning two of them and came within like one second of winning the third. So uh, second place here with 37 kills. And uh, coming in third is Master at Work with 36, and I actually did the uh, commentary for him. And uh, we're just going to show you a preview of each, and you can click on the links to actually go right to the video. And I'm using my tech insert. I always put it in that same spot right there for the rest of the game. Because, um, I don't know, they never found it. They never destroyed it except one time. And it just was a good location. I like being able to know where I'm going to spawn next. And it saves me the time of having to run from the back of the base where I would probably spawn. So, you know, it saves if it saves 10 seconds of life, then that's 10 more seconds I have to sprint around and try to get kills towards my challenge total. So right now, um, my team's kind of spread out, so it's hard to tell where the enemies will be. But uh, I'm just trying to hold down... Um, these buildings that are like main buildings I guess you could say like this building the ice cream shop I'm at right now um, this is a main building in my opinion and the banana leaf one is a main building as well and same with the uh, air conditioning building the back building I don't know what to call the far one Maybe maybe the attack insert is kind of overpowered in that respect because it tells you that it's been destroyed. Whereas you know I think it would be less less overpowered if it just you know if you ended up uh, destroying the attack insert didn't tell you and you just ended up spawning where you'd regularly spawn. Like right here, see the guy. You know not only did the guy freaking shoot the tag insert but he had an unsilenced weapon so he just gave away his position so like I said very impressive I suggest you guys watch all three of them because uh, they're actually fairly or somewhat different uh, in their styles and tactics and uh, I think they did a really really good job so thanks guys we appreciate that here okay update on challenge four we have four and five in progress right now challenge four was uh, a Starcraft 2 single-player expert challenges and we have a Harbinger of Death opening Gambit and Rush Defense. We've gotten some missions for uh, Harbinger of Death and Rush Defense, but really nothing for opening Gambit. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anybody uh, have an idea there? Have you guys actually completed that challenge? Uh, so yeah, we're still looking for some missions for that. You have until uh, the end of day, September 14th, to uh, get your submissions in for challenge number four. All right, in challenge number five, most sniper headshots in a free for all. We've had very few submissions actually. I'm just wondering, you know, are we setting these setting the bar too high on these challenges? I mean, I thought, hey, you know, go in a free for all and get some headshots and submit your video. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I didn't think that was too hard. I mean, I don't know if you guys are thinking that, um, you know, if you only got like ten or whatever and it's not good enough. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not going to say how many kill, how many headshots that. Uh, the submissions we received did get but uh, get your videos in because there's a lot of room here and uh, I think I think you guys can do a good job with this some of you snipers out there what's going on let's get some sniping let's see some uh, some more submissions again same with challenge number four you've got until end of day September 14th to get your submissions in for challenge number five all right guys challenge number six is Minecraft I've heard a lot about this game I've seen a few things about this game. I really don't have the time to play it myself, but I, I've seen some. Um, one of our uh, uh, directors on NGT Games, uh, Gerbiscon, has done a few videos, and I've seen his videos, and he's built some cool stuff. So I'm putting this challenge out here to you guys: build something epic, epic, and then submit a video of you walking us through it, describing the features, maybe talking a bit about how you built it. You know, go up. Make it like 10 or 15 minutes or whatever, but just walk us through it and um, 
you know, we we want to sit here and go, wow, that is freaking awesome. How the hell did you do that? How the hell did you build that? Um, so, I mean, it could be something you've already built. If, if there are existing players out there uh, that you've already built some stuff, you want to do a video and, and walk us through it or build something entirely new. Uh, you've got until uh, September 21st, end of day, to submit your video. So let's see some epic stuff out there. I want to see... I don't know. I don't know what the hell you can build. Like, you know, a house, a roller coaster I've seen, uh, maybe an entire amusement park. I don't know. Sky's the limit, right? I mean, that game, the sky is the limit. So let's see what you guys can do with it. And uh, we'll judge. Uh, just sort of make sure that when you do put in your submission, describe your video in detail. Describe what you built in detail so we can go through the descriptions and and compare uh, entries, okay? So we have a bit of an easier time to uh, to judge the entries, all right? It's not a most kills or least time uh, challenge here, so I can't filter through the entries as easy. So try and please make it easy or easier on us so that we can uh, decide, um, you know, how we can uh, place your videos uh, as far as, you know, first place, second place, third place, that sort of thing. So let's see it. I want to see these things. Uh, and good luck, guys. Okay, so uh, just some general stuff on, on this challenges and our two channels, Next Gen Tactics and NGT Challenges. What we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to continue double posting because there's a lot of people that we have gotten feedback from on NGT Challenges who are only subscribed there and they only want to see the challenge videos. And then on the other hand, we have guys that want to see it on Next Gen Tactics that aren't necessarily subscribed to NGT Challenges. And uh, really, I mean, they're not that many videos in a given week. So we're actually going to post them on both. If you're subscribed to both and you just you don't want the uh, the videos showing up in your sub box or your email or whatever, then, I mean, if assuming you're already subscribed to Next Gen Tactics, then uh, you can choose to unsubscribe from NGT Challenges. But I think we're going to keep both of them going uh, and sort of just see where it goes because, like I said, I think there are a lot of people that are uh, just interested in, in seeing these challenge videos or not necessarily subscribed to our main channel. So we're gonna, I think we're going to keep it that way. And uh, you do have the option of uh, unsubscribing NGT challenges, challenges if you so wish. All right, so that's it. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, more submissions for challenge number four and five and the, uh, the new challenge number six. And we're actually really looking forward to setting up some new ones for next week. I think uh, next Friday, September 17th, we're going to set up probably a couple of Halo Reach challenges for you Halo Reach fanatics. And let's see some cool stuff, maybe some firefight multiplayer. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to come up with? If you guys have any ideas, post some comments, and we'll take those into consideration. All right? For NextGenTactics.com, I'm Spider-Bite, and I'm out.